Hi folks, glad you could join me again today. I'm Stephen Crone and today this is the simplest way I know of doing a, 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 a seascape. I've tried to keep it as, as basic as I possibly can. Um, quite a limited palette. So let me show you the colours I've used for this one. So for this I'll use the Ultramarine. There's a little bit of Payne's Grey. These are in crimson, a bit of raw sienna and, and light red. So five colours. They're all Cotman watercolours. And then the brushes, we've got the large Ron Ranson Ake, and then I'll just use a couple of riggers, a number three and a size zero. Right, so let's get a bit of water on there first just to lubricate everything. Then I'm going to start with the with the lighter colours. Bit of a lizard in there as well. Bit of light red. Add a bit of blue to that, a touch of water. Get something on this side as well, a bit of red over there. Let's just catch some of this that's falling down. Now on quite a low horizon, looking for like a big sky. More I think. It's really nice. No, look at that nice pinky colour. Get a bit of that down. Down below. Right then, so that's our nice little backdrop to the thing. See, just make sure that's flat against the board, and then I'll put in the horizon line. And I'm keeping a careful eye on these bits that are just coming down, trying to make sure nothing ruins the effect. And I just a little, just a little bit of cloud up there, just something, a little bit of texture. I'll do right, let's put the horizon in, just dip in the corner in, just loosen the paint up, corner of the brush. So I'm just taking a bit of everything I've used. Going somewhere right down there, right down the bottom. Pop some over on that side. It's not a distant headland. Give me a bit of Payne's grey there just to darken it a little bit. Turn that slightly darker. Coming forward, we've got another bit of land in here.
Now what I'm thinking about now is where am I going to stick the boats? Boats are going to have to go somewhere. Um, trying so hard not to not to overdo it. Keep it keep it fresh. It's so tempting to just go by me with a brush and just slap it on all over the place. I'm wondering if I could just even if I could just get a, just scrape a few little buildings in here and there. A hint of, of some things just going on there in the distance. A few little scrapings with a card. A few little details there. <coughs> now what I might do is put the boats in dark. I'll just do just here. Here's some tiny little triangles. And these are some little yachts sailing off. Don't do them all the same size and equally spaced like I was doing then. This one, uh, this one's going to be bigger. It's a little bit closer. Let's have a few tiny little things there. Don't be tempted to make them bigger because it's, it's so easy to, to make them too big. The viewer will, will pick them up. Don't worry about that. That's a whole load of little things. A little one, two, three little birds there, right in that bit of light. I'm just going to sign this one down there. Right then, let's stick a mount on that, see what it looks like. There's our finished little seascape. So if we're going to have a closer look at it. So around the edges we've got sort of ultramarine Payne's grey. Um, there's a bit of raw sienna, lizarding crimson, light red, a few of the other colours from the palette on there as well. Um, I've tried to preserve the, the reds as, as best I could. Often I'll go into the blues on the palette and just mix, mi just over mix everything, and it's all the colours end up looking the same basically. Um, try to get this sort of light area. I think maybe if I'd have painted these lighter areas, these two edges there, the, the light in the middle might have stood out a bit more. Um, but I've tried to reflect it off the water as well by brushing in from either side and leaving the area central light. Use the car just to scrape in. Suggestion of buildings and things on the, on the right hand side land um, and then over on the left hand side if you imagine like the, the water there just going out to sea and then just some tiny little yachts starting with the big one there and they just get smaller and smaller as they go off into the distance so that's my simple little seascape I hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching um, Join me over on patreon.com slash Stephen Crone if you get the chance. There's loads of more videos over there and you can also post your own paintings on the community page. So until next time, keep practicing. If you've got any questions, please ask and I'll see you again soon.